Hey, it's Andrew here. Here I have the review of the uh, Kotobukiya D-Style M9 Gernsback. Uh, here it is with all of its accessories. Um, as for the colors, you're not going to get this right out of the box. I went a little bit overboard painting this kit, so yeah. Uh, so, basically, you do get this though. That nice little green visor right there. I mean, that is pretty nice. And the, um, in my unboxing video, I said you weren't going to get that white piece. You do. Yeah. And another little thing I want to mention is, anybody that's old enough to remember this kind of cartoon, it kind of looks like street sharks. Look at that. Looks like a shark. Balked out. <laughs> okay, well, just nerding it out right there. <laughs> Alright, so, on to the review. Uh, overall, this kit, with its accessories, is alright. It has, um, I could say a bit of problems, uh, I'll, I'll show, I think it'll show itself when I start reviewing this, so I guess I'll start with articulation, I'll take off these weapons, I'll show off the weapons first I guess, okay, and this is one of the flaws. They're all on straight pegs. And the hand? Straight peg. So you're not going to get any movement whatsoever when it's in the hand. Well, here is the sniper rifle. Yeah, I, had, I put a little bit of paint onto this. I put it in a little clear piece for the scope. So you're not going to be getting any of that. It comes with this nice little stand, so I mean, it stands on its own. It's a little nice little piece, just by itself. Uh, let's see, so for another accessory, you get, I haven't painted this one, so this is where you're going to get out of the box. Tiny little handgun. Only drawbacks to all these weapons is, it's hollow on the back. Old school Bandai. Well, I mean, you know, Code of Akia hasn't, like, making models as long as Bandai has, so. Yeah. It's alright. I mean, when it's in the hand and, you know, you're not looking that way, it's pretty good. I mean, not a lot of details. Plain, simple. Well, it works. It's that. Mountain on the back. You have um, mm, an assault rifle. Yeah, uh, this one's not so bad. Again, hollow on the back. Not that great. Has a peg right here. You could peg that onto the either the side skirt or the back. And last but not least, this is I think my one of my favorites. It's a nice little uh it's kinda like a short sword. I mean well to his Stature, it's kind of like a sword, sword, but it looks like a dagger. Has a little sheath that comes with it. it pegs in onto its side skirt or onto the back. Goes in pretty nicely. Oh yeah, and then you know I painted this so all the silver doesn't come with it. See, pretty nice. Alright, 
and onto this guy. Well, as you can see, all the little yellow pieces and all the silver, you don't get. Dark gray, you don't get. You have to paint that yourself, so, mm hmm. Uh, head turns not so much because of the uh, shoulder armor. I think you could get away with it. Yeah, you can. 360. The arms go 360. Let's see, elbow bends. Oh, here it goes. That's what I'm talking about. Here's a little short little ball joint. All the way inside here. So, I mean, it's a really tight tiny little connection I mean it barely holds even if you push it all the way in it doesn't really hold uh, you know I'll leave this alone for right now okay well uh, let's see so for the hand it is on the ball joint so normal standard turning and then it wiggles back and forth to and fro, whatever. And here you go. That's straight peg. It's not that great. I mean, if you're used to all the round pegs that Bandai uses, you're not going to really like it because you don't get as much like weapon articulation as you do with a Bandai kit. Alright, so... You just waste articulation goes all the way around I think yeah there you go and it gives a little bit of forward and back some but not too much for legs just two pieces sandwiched together so just a little bit of this well it goes all the way out all the way up that's surprising, you know, for a kit like this. And then just back that much because of the uh, back skirt. Uh, let's see. Oh, there went the other piece. The leg up and down. Uh, it only turned this far because the the little skirts for the legs from here it hits the back of the like the bag armor and yeah same way for that one it only turns that far again up and down and it wiggles so I mean this kid isn't really that bad it has its flaws I mean uh, if you don't mind, it does look pretty nice even like this. Just like that. Slims it down. Makes it a little more aerodynamic and uh, dynamic, I guess. Kind of like a jet. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, quite alright. I mean, for painting, it's not a lot. It only has like two colors that it really needs. It's basically this really like kind of white gray, and then all you need is just add this dark gray onto it. So I mean, it's right here, right here, uh, onto the bottom of the piece. Uh, what else? The back skirt, that piece right there the hands and I think that's it so I mean as I show from the review this comes in that color I mean it's already molded with like the whole entire piece so it's just two pieces sandwiched together so it's not that bad yep, overall that's a pretty good kit I would recommend it I think for the price 
it's not that good, but, you know, if you can mod it a little bit, you know, maybe do something with the hands, do something with that shoulder, pretty good kit. So, uh, I'll see you guys next time, okay? Thanks.